Hey there, welcome to the season premiere of DNTO. I am Suk Yin Lee. As you know, I am an avid bicyclist. The thing is, bikes can reveal a whole heck of a lot about who you are. So I'm gonna introduce you to two of my sets of wheels. I am a two bike person. So the first one is my trusty Iron Steed a Nishiki bicycle that was originally sold to me many, many moons ago while I was still living in Vancouver. A kid raided his basement, pulled out this bike. His landlord said he could have it. He found me and he sold me this Nishiki for 15 bucks, a steal of a deal. And this bike has really served me well. The great thing about this Mixty is it is so rickety and, and old, nobody dares to steal it. And I rode it for many, many years. And one day this bicycle collector said, hey, that's an amazing bike. And lo and behold, I found out my cheap little bike is actually collectible. It's called a Mixty. Now the Mixty, if you look at these three, the frame has three arms all joined together. It's a very rare structure. And this one was made a long time ago, entirely out of steel. Beautiful back cage. I really need a cage to hold my laptop and all kinds of stuff. Now this cage was given to me by a bike activist in town by the name of Eugene Yao, who was a wonderful man. He passed away seven years ago, but he outfitted me. I told him, Eugene, I, I need something. What can you do? And I walked into his store and he pulled this out from the back room. And it's a, this is such a good thing. He attached it here and I was able to carry so many things, transport and commute. And then I kept riding this bicycle, but after Eugene passed away, I brought it to other stores, bicycle repair people. And after a while, well, one bike repair person said, Sukin, this is a death trap. In the wake of my repairman refusing to work on this beautiful bicycle, I, I did have to put it stored in the basement. Um, and I feel sad because it, it has served me so well. It's got a beautiful bike bell. I have to say that this plastic bag covering the seat, what does it reveal about me? Well, it reveals that, oh, there's another plastic bag under there. As you can see, the, the center is full of foam. It's been exposed. The plastic has been ripped. This is a real big bummer on a rainy day because what happens is the rain absorbs into the foam and voila, you arrive to work with a wet bum. So that is my wonderful, never stolen, rusty, yet trusty Nishiki bicycle. Allow me to introduce you to my next one. After my bike repairman said he wouldn't fix it, I decided to enter the 21st century by getting a kind of more contemporary bicycle. Follow me. Over here, this is a Norco City Glide. I really feel like I'm talking tech to you right now. Uh, it's a newer model. Uh, it's an upright bicycle. But I realized this uh, past winter, even though it's a comfortable ride, the higher your center of gravity is, the more problematic it is when you hit uh, ice patches or frozen tofu water, as I did in the winter. I hit it, and because I was high, I flew over the uh, bars and smashed my face. That was a whole other long story. Uh, now, this Nishiki is a new one, and I have to say, uh, it's, it's all right. I feel like the telltale sign and the revealing moment here is when you look at the back cage. This is a brand new bike carrier. I have had this for less than a year and check this out. It's already rusted and it's already broken at the bottom. As you can see, all along the seam, the wire has come apart, it's detached. It's not gonna be holding things for long, which makes me wonder exactly, although new, this uh, Norco City Glide has been falling apart quite quite fast which means maybe I will resurrect the old Nishiki old faithful over there lying down on its side to see if I can actually refurbish the old girl but for now I'm off to work on my bike with my blue bike helmet heading downtown I'm Sukian Lee happy riding people